Captain. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Ensign. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. There you go. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Here comes one now! Uh, 
Amigo. Huh? Ooh. Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Hey! What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Benny, is that... The Pearl! Ooh -wee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Hey, lay off! Lego! 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 Hey, where are you going? You can't leave me here all alone! Come back here! She's coming back. Carnal, because I don't know. Gladys, I'm going to sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. Ah! 
I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cabrón. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new opus. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Mech is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry! You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please. Stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> okay, back to work. So mean. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? <gasps> Ow! Oh, my stockings! They're ruined! Try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. <whistles> La -dee -da -dee -da. Hey, Chippy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Hey, 
I'll trade you something for them. Well, those will keep me warm. You got anything that will do that? How about a nice semi-automatic? Deal. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Gonna see Miss Liza. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. I can't believe you got it to flow. That was the easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh yeah, this will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True, a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go! Mitchy, you don't know what you- I know exactly what I'm doing, now move! 
Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids? You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake wing rod. I'm gonna... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker. But a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Major circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Mechi, you can come out now. Mechi? Uh-oh. Oh, Raul. I am so, so sorry. That door closed. Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dama have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? You. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Gladys, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. Oh. 
So are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. I give you one job, Manny! And look at you, already screwing it up! Suppose you realize that this is gonna go down on your permanent record. Woo! <sighs> this doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Tom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. I don't believe you, Calavera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen! 